hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video i will talk about repeatability firstly i will discuss the definition of repeatability then i will talk about the range of repeatability then i will discuss the importance of repeatability and afterwards i will talk about the repeatability as the ratio of variance and then i will talk about the difference between repeatability and heritability and at the end i will talk about the limitations of repeatability so what is repeatability repeatability is actually a genetic parameter same like heritability you know heritability is a genetic parameter so repeatability is also a genetic parameter so how can you define repeatability repeatability can be defined as a measure of the strength of the relationship between repeated records for a trait in a population so it is a measure of strength of relationship between repeated records for a particular trait in a population in mathematical terms repeatability is some kind of correlation as i have explained that it is measure of strength of relationship so in mathematically we can say it is a some kind of correlation so repeatability can be defined as the correlation between repeated records for a particular trait in a population so you can define repeatability as the correlation between repeated records for a particular trait in a population and this repeatability is denoted by small r as you know that correlation is also denoted by small r so repeatability is also denoted by small r so it is some kind of correlation that's why we also denoted repeatability with small r so for which traits you can estimate repeatability repeatability can be estimated for any trait which is repeated in the lifetime of an animal so we can say repeatability can be estimated for any trait in which individuals commonly have more than one performance records okay so you can only estimate repeatability for these type of traits so what are these type of traits for example milk yield in dairy animals you know that dairy animals produce milk daily so milk yield has more than one records so you can estimate repeatability for milk yield there are so many other traits for which you can estimate repeatability in dairy animals for example calming interval as the calming interval is also a repeated trait in dairy animals so you can estimate repeatability for calming interval same like you can also estimate the for lactation length or lactation yield in horses racing and show performance are also repeated traits so you can also estimate repeatability for these traits in swine you can estimate uh, repeatability for litter size and in sheep you can also estimate repeatability for fleece weight there are so many other traits for which you can estimate repeatability so if you know some of the traits for which you can estimate repeatability you can write in the comment section so here is one question so can you estimate repeatability for birth weight or winning weight of animal no you cannot estimate repeatability for birth or winning weight of animal because they are not repeated traits okay but you can still estimate the uh, repeatability of birth weight or winning weight as a dam trait okay as you know that dam produces more than one offspring so you can estimate repeatability for birth weight and winning weight as a dam trait as you know that heritability ranges between 0 to 1 so is there any range for repeatability yes there is also a range of repeatability as i have already explained that repeatability is some type of 
correlation and you know that correlation ranges between negative 1 to positive 1 so you can say that repeatability can also be between negative 1 to positive 1 however mostly in most cases the repeatability lies between 0 to 1 and there are very less chances that you get the negative value of repeatability so what does it mean if you got the repeatability value as 1 so if you get repeatability estimate as 1 it means that the trade is extremely repeatable and what does it mean if you get a repeatability value as 0 so if you get repeatability as 0 it means that trade is hardly repeatable at all this trade will not be repeatable so now i will talk about the importance of repeatability the knowledge of repeatability for different trades can be used in selection or culling of animals so we estimate repeatability for different trades because on the basis of that we can select or cull animals for example you have a dairy herd and most of your animals have completed their first lactation so on the basis of the performance of their first lactation you can decide uh, to uh, to select those animals or cull those animals if the trade is highly heritable so one of the important point about the repeatability is that on the basis of that you can decide the culling or selection of animals on their first performance records when the repeatability estimate for a trade is high culling or selection on the basis of the first record would be more effective the other point about repeatability is that it indicates the likelihood that animals will tend to repeat records for a particular trade throughout their life when you get uh, the repeatability high uh, you will become sure that the animals within your population for that particular trait would tend to repeat their performance other important point about the repeatability is that it can be used to predict the most probable producing ability on the basis of MPPA or most probable producing ability you can select or cull animals for breeding purposes so how can you explain repeatability in terms of ratio of variance so repeatability can be presented as small r equals to sigma square g plus sigma square pe where this sigma square g is the genotypic variance and this sigma square pe is the permanent environmental variance okay and this formula can be further extended as r equals to sigma square a plus sigma square d plus sigma square i which are actually the genotypic variance so we just extended the genotypic variance here okay and this is the permanent environmental variance and here you can see we have extended the phenotypic variance which which would become sigma square a plus sigma square d plus sigma square i plus sigma square pe and sigma square te and here i have divided environmental variance into permanent environmental variance and temporary environmental variance what is the difference between heritability and repeatability the numerator of broad sense heritability and repeatability is different but the denominator is the same which is phenotypic variance so theoretically repeatability is expected to be higher than that of broad sense heritability okay why because it has uh, environmental variance in the numerator uh, so if you assume there is no permanent environmental variance then the repeatability becomes equal to the broad sense heritability so 
if there is no permanent environmental variance then the estimate of broad sense heritability and the estimate of repeatability would be equal so generally we can say that repeatability is always equals to or greater than broad sense heritability one major difference between the repeatability and heritability is that heritability is used to predict estimated breeding values and repeatability is used to predict the most probable producing abilities and repeatability is used for the traits which are repeated in the lifetime of animals but heritability is not used for those traits so now i will talk about the limitations of repeatability the first limitation of uh, repeatability is that it is always estimated in a population and for a particular trait the second is that it is not a value to be associated with an individual animals because it is always estimated in a population the third limitation is that repeatability is not a fixed value as it is affected by the permanent environmental variance and temporary environmental variance so it is not a fixed value and it varies between population to population and herd to herd and even environment to environment repeatability varies from population to population and environment and from the environment to environment okay so it is not a constant value it always varies between environment to environment and population to population so the factors which affect heritability tend to affect repeatability in similar fashion so this was a brief video on repeatability i hope you understand it and if if you have any question regarding repeatability please feel free to write me in comment section i would love to hear from you and thank you for watching this video and if you didn't subscribe my channel please do subscribe it